Hello, here's a video on a scripted block that gives out a quest when you come within, uh, I guess, two blocks of it here. It's within this purple border. And also controlling access to a quest through a dialogue, depending on what time it is. Or how much time has elapsed, I should say. So, if I get near this scripted block, it gives me this quest. Oop, let me go into creative here. or Survival, mine gold. Oh, I've got a chest full of gold over here. Take a gold bar, instant complete, and I get this golden shovel. So, and now it won't give me a quest again for it's set on 60 seconds, is what it is. So, it's going to be 60 seconds. And if actually, also, if I have the quest, it's not, yeah, if I have the quest, it's not going to give it out again. But this 1200 ticks is equal to 60 seconds. So, that's all there is to it. Just uh, finds the nearby entity, gives out the quest. That's all there is to that. This guy back here will give me a quest. It says, would you like a quest? Yes. And it's the same quest. So, supposedly, I won't get the quest here if I go near the block. It's probably been, I imagine, pretty close to 60 seconds here. So, let's just instant complete. I get another shovel. I come here, get the quest. And now this guy is set for, well, a thousand ticks. So that's like 50 seconds. And uh, so, and that tells me how many ticks it passed at the time. So if you want to set out, set it up for, you can only get the quest so many times a day or something like that, you could set it up for something like this. This just has a, uh, keeps track of the time and it makes, oops, wrong tool here. Uh, keeps track of the time and world total time. Puts the world total time um, in a stored value by uh, the player's name. So then it gets that out and compares it, and if it's less, then it will give you the quest, or give you that, it will unlock that dialogue. So you, as you see, well, let's go back, oops, <laughs> yeah. If you go back there, uh, as you can see, this is an interact event, or function, and it's not in the dialogue function, because when the dialogue runs, it's too late, so you have to put it in the interact before the dialogue runs to do this dialogue control, and it's basically just taking a, uh, this dialogue and on reading it or reading it depending on uh, what what time it is and whether I have access to it or not, whether the time has elapsed or not. And this is just a dummy dialogue I put in before that. Uh, before, if you look at him, he has two dialogues in here, start and two. And I think it's this one. Yes. Okay. Start. So, would you like the quest? And then two. I do not have a quest for you. And then one is, or three, three is the dummy dialogue that's not actually used for anything, actually. That's just put before um, start. Before start, yes. So if it's, if that's active, it won't run. Two, was it two? Yeah, two will run instead. If you follow that. It's pretty simple. I've had videos on dialogue control before. But, so that's how you can control that quest access with time. Nope. Goodbye. And see, if I say goodbye, now then I, I can't access it again for a thousand uh, ticks, even though I didn't actually pick the pick the quest, you see. Currently, I, well, I might have the quest because, yeah, yeah but because uh, I have before, but... So, I think that explains that. Um, so, yeah. That's, uh, that's how you do that. I just wanted to have a quick video doing that. See you later. Bye.